Hey everyone, it's Kiwi here for Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for today's soap making video. We're going to be making lemon poppy seed soap, which is an exfoliating soap bar. I get a lot of requests to do this soap with poppy seeds in and usually I would use some um, lemongrass and Persian lime fragrance oil. But this time around I was given some lemons from a friend of mine who runs Jasper in a jar and I popped them through my copper still and I made some lemon hydrosol and I decided to use that in this soap to give it that real fresh lemony burst mainly because the fragrance oil that I was going to use I didn't realize at the time of purchasing it had a really low usage rate on it so I decided to combine it with this lemon hydrosol and I've also added in some essential oils to give it that really good lemony boost so we're gonna go and check out you can hear the magpies let me show you what's going on here <laughs> So we've got a couple of magpies that have been coming to visit us every night and um, they basically sit there watching my dog eat her dinner. I'm just turning the light on outside. And these little guys, I'll see if we can find some food. So Lucy's eating her dinner and there's one. And here's the other one. This one's a little more, a little less um, frightened and he will take it from out of my hand. This one up here, he's a little bit more cautious. We think this one is the male. He's a bit bigger. Um, but if I pop it up on the barbecue, this is meat, because they are meat eating birds. I'm actually gonna go and get them some worms so they can um, have some something that they would actually eat in the wild. But if um, Miss Lucy leaves anything in her bowl, these two will come and eat it anyway, so. For now, I've just got little pieces of meat for them, but as I said, I'm gonna get some worms. Let's see if he comes up and gets it. It's a really, really windy day, so I'm surprised they came up tonight. There you go, you can have some too. Oh, I missed him. So before they started singing, I was gonna say, let's go and see how I make the lemon poppy seed soap. Let's go. Okay, so let's jump into making this soap. I've got my oils here. I have got my lye water. Now, when I made my sodium hydroxide and distilled water, I used 130 grams less of water to dissolve to what it says to use because in here I have 130 grams of lemon hydrosol and there's a little bit of lemon essential oil sitting on the top here. I was given a bunch of lemons and I put them through my still and this was what I ended up with. And I actually specifically distilled these ones. I used a steam distillation to get some essential oils in here to add into the soap. So pour that in first. I'm then going to pour in my lye water, mix it up, and then we're gonna split it up for some colors. Okay, so that is looking good. Now this is the bit that always gets messy because pouring it out of this big pot is a mess, but all my other pots are in the dishwasher. In this container here, I have got some canary yellow, which is a quite a pale yellow. I told you I was gonna get in a mess. I've poured that all over my bench here. That's all good, see? In this one here, I have put in some grandeur gold mica. See if we can do this one without throwing it everywhere. That's a bit better. I kind of went for the grandeur to kind of represent the seeds that you can find in lemons. This one here, this is gonna be fun to pour out. This is just a little bit of titanium dioxide dispersed in some water. Oh look, I managed to do that one without throwing it everywhere. In my big container, I am going to put some Wellington. And I want this one to be quite dark because the fragrance oil I have got is very dark. So I know that it is going to discolor this soap. So I've got just about a teaspoon worth of mica in there because we're making one of the big slabs. I'll get all this mixed in and then we'll grab the fragrance oil. And I have done a bit of a blend of fragrance oil and essential oils. All right, 
so they've all had a good mix we've got the color mixed in i've got the fragrance all mixed in there was just a lump of mica there i think it's gone it'll go when i put the fragrance in i know that the fragrance oil i'm using today to complement the sort of lemon hydrosol I had this one called Lemon Butter Burst from off of Ilux and that's what this really dark colour is. Problem is it can only be used at 2% so I decided to beef this up a little bit. So I've got 2% worth of the fragrance oil um, in here and then I have also added in a little bit of Litsake Baba and some um, distilled lemon essential oil in there as well just to give it that real boost of lemon because I didn't think that the the lemon butter burst really smell anything of lemon but just combining those other essential oils in here have given it that extra little bit of boost I'm not gonna pour it in the white because it is such a dark fragrance oil there um, pouring it in there I have just got that sort of burst of lemon come out of it with that lit Seca baby and the lemon essential oil the lit Seca baby should really help the lemon essential oil to actually hold in the soap it's one of those sort of anchoring essential oils which is why I decided to combine that in there as well and it's got almost like a, a lemongrass sea citrusy sort of smell the lit Seca baby um, also known as Mei Shang. I'm gonna get this all mixed in and then we are going to pour it into our mold. So I do still have a few chunks of mica in this one. I'm also gonna throw in some poppy seeds, mainly into this main batch here. So giving that a quick stick one that's just taken nice and fluid doing that it would have broken up a few of those um, poppy seeds but it's also finished dispersing that mica so really pleased I think I'm just going to do a basic drop swirl into this soap so let's get all this out the way and get our mold So that's all in there and to finish off I have these lemon slices which I'm going to pop on here now I made these lemon slices using the big boy extruder tool that I have had from off of iDream in soap I forgot to actually do a behind the scenes video of how I made them but I have got an orange soap coming up soon so I will make a video for it then it is one of the discs that Lisa has on offer to make the segmented fruits and I absolutely love it she has both a small and a extra large one and it really does give so much more life to your pieces of oranges and lemons and limes and everything else so all I'm going to do is scatter these all over the top I can see we're getting very low on the battery so I'll film, film as much of it as I possibly can but once I've got all these on the top I'm going to leave it sit here for about 24 hours and then we'll come back we'll cut it open and we'll see what sort of swirls and things we've got on the inside of this one into lemon poppy seed I love how the top of this one has come out hoping to get a few swirls in here didn't get too many as I was cutting but that's a really pretty side on that one let's get it into the cutter and see what we have here so let's get lined up we'll get a couple of sample pieces from off the end this one I don't know my sense of lemon must be very different I I'm not kind of getting that sweet lemon that I associate with lemon fragrance oils but it probably does have that very lemon essential oil sort of smell it's very clean and fresh um, I suppose because it was lemon butter I was expecting a lot more sweetness 
which it just seems to be missing out of the fragrance but it has held really strong so that is promising let's get those two end pieces out of the way and sort of start down there really really like the top of this one with those little wedges of all the lemon slices on there and this is the inside very simple only a few wisps and swirls of the different colors I'm expecting this one to darken up a little bit so if you come over and follow me on Instagram I will post pictures of this one when it is um, ready so you can see just how dark this fragrance well may turn this one I'm hoping that it doesn't I'm hoping that the blend with the other essential oils really stabilizes it it does smell clean and fresh I suppose it does have that kind of lemony smell I think the essential oils are really shining through on this one it certainly doesn't have the lemon butter smell that I was expecting out of that fragrance oil but overall I am still pretty happy with it um, it's not one of the um, most intricate designs I have done but the star of this one is the poppy seeds I get so many people asking me to keep making the poppy seed soaps usually I do it with lemongrass and Persian lime but this time I thought a nice lemon one would be good with our upcoming summer weather just to give that little bit of brightness and freshness in the morning so I hope you've enjoyed watching how I make my lemon poppy seed soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.